So this is a fun subject. Often these verses about eunuchs and bastards are used to try to attack Christians by pointing out some of the weird laws in the Bible, you know, to show how stupid and juvenile the Bible is, as well as to supposedly point out the hilarity and backwardness of ancient cultures, you know, to show how advanced we are nowadays. I think the verse about crushed or cut off testicles is especially funny myself, uh, Deuteronomy 23.1. Welcome for that, Jim. Uh, however, when we think about the context, it actually makes a lot of sense. And we see this play on around us in politics, culture, and the new pagan religions popping up. So first things first, we have self-made eunuchs and bastards today. So this isn't some ancient history thing. As of the time of this video in America, we have family members writing off and not being a part of their families for the holidays because they're too toxic based off of their political views. They're making themselves bastards. We also have people cutting off their genitalia to pretend to be members of the opposite sex. And this is often by people who think we're so much more advanced than ancient cultures. Someone should tell them about the goddess Addis, whose followers castrated themselves to show devotion. I mean, there were many examples, that's just one, but now we have people castrating themselves again to rebel against God and deciding to worship their own power to remake their identity independent of how God created them, making themselves eunuchs. We decry the laws in the Bible as unnecessary and out of touch, like the ones that say, don't sacrifice children to Moloch, even though we have people doing the same thing, sacrificing babies for their own life satisfaction and, and selfish lifestyle choices. So it looks like we aren't so advanced after all. That's why it's interesting to look at eunuchs and bastards to see why the laws were included in the first place and what we can learn from them. Real quick, hit that subscribe button. Stay part of the conversation as we study the Bible together. Bastards, cut off from the heritage and inheritance of the past. We actually see this in the woke mob quite a bit, but really it applies to anyone who disowns or rewrites their history and heritage in a way that's not truthful. Bastards represent a denial of the past, a, dis a disconnect from the past, and fundamentally, it's a rejection of the story that God's putting us in. God is a God of covenants, and covenants start with your forefathers. This is especially prominent in American culture right now, where the history that got us here is being analyzed and rewritten. If we rewrite it in such a way that America is the greatest country ever, and even the wrongs committed to get us where we are, that uh, are justified, then we're bastardizing the story. And that leads us to reject the need for corporate national repentance and the lessons we could learn from our past. If we rewrite it the other way, in such a way that America is the worst, and no matter the good that's come out of this great nation, and like it or not, America is a great nation, no matter the good that it's done, we need to burn the whole thing down and replace it with something else. Usually the suggestion for that is something communist or Marxist, replace America with Marxism. But when we do that, then we're also missing the point, cutting ourselves off from a great inheritance. So we see that people untethered to their identity that God has given them, and who despise the gifts that God has given them uh, from their history are bastards. Our history is a gift. We should embrace the gift. And if we can't, it's effectively and practically begging for a curse from God. This is so common sense that we all know the saying, or have heard it at some point, those who don't learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. Eunuchs, on the other hand, have no tie to the future. So before we jump into that, if you're still watching, hit that subscribe button, put a comment down below on a way you see this playing out in society, or let me know if you think I'm completely full of it. Thanks for watching. So eunuchs are unable to produce children, therefore they're not as invested in creating a sustainable future. They don't have skin in the game. This is anyone who refuses to have children really, and instead adopts a self-centered attitude towards living for now and not caring so much about future generations. So no matter the reason people choose to not have kids, whether out of some selfish desire or some weirdly religious notion to worship the planet instead of God, it's simple disobedience to the order that God created. Be fruitful, fill the earth. The earth was made by God to sustain life. One big mistake people make is to oversimplify the Bible by reading it too literally or by not putting it into context. Eunuchs are an example, a type, a symbol. Yes, there are eunuchs. We're reviving the practice in America today. But there are also spiritual eunuchs. It's not just trans either. It's women who are on the pill their whole life or men who get a vasectomy without having children. It's moms who divorce their husbands for something trivial, leaving their kids without a father. It's, it's men who don't take care, the care to raise their children or provide for them. There are way more ways than castrating yourself to make yourself a eunuch 
and create lots of little bastards in the process. God is a God of covenants, and covenants last throughout all generations. In other words, God loves life and makes promises to those who are faithful to him to thousands of generations. Eunuchs have cut off more than their genitalia. They've cut off their tie to the future. If we refuse to build something and pass it on to our progeny as God is willing to provide them, then we're really not thinking about the future the way God intended. So the question is, should people who are not fully engaged in participating in the future or the past have the same say as people who are participating in the future? I mean, hopefully that opens your eyes a bit to the meaning behind bastards and eunuchs and gives you something to think about when you read those passages in the Bible. Bastards are those cut off from the past. Eunuchs are those cut off from the future. Both are simply frozen in time in the present moment. God created us with a lineage that stretches all the way back to being made in his image, and our lineage stretches all the way forward until he redeems the world and in his grace hands over an inheritance that not a single one of us deserves.